Baby Hilton sale. For a limited time, 50% off selected bedrooms, dining rooms, living rooms, bunk beds. Oh, mattresses too. Immediate delivery, immediate financing. Also available 12 months, same as cash. Call today, 910-FACT. The first annual Baby Hilton sale. 50% off. Hilton Furniture and Mattress, I-45 South, exit Fuquay, just inside the Beltway. Oh, and that's a fact, Jack. Yay. Your one-stop insurance store. Auto insurance discounters. Homeowners insurance rates are going through the roof. Some have even doubled. Call auto insurance discounters. With multiple discounts, we can save you up to 35% with one easy phone call. Your one-stop insurance store. Auto insurance discounters. They're lacing them up in the locker room. It's the calm before the storm. The pursuit for the Founders' Cup begins next. <laughs> last year to the championship just one season later. One reason why a remarkable job they have done offensively. We've got the top two scoring teams in the league. Last week for Washington in the semis, Monica Gerardo got the game winner in the 80th minute. As Washington advanced today, they come to Atlanta, the hottest team in the league. Last Saturday, Carolina needed overtime to eliminate Atlanta. Carla Overbeck got the golden goal as the Courage celebrated a birth in the final. Today, they make their stand against the Freedom, ready to take home the Founders' Cup. And I'm joined now by Anson Dorrance, the head coach at the University of North Carolina. And Anson, let's focus on two high-impact players in today's game. We've got Hagar Risa for Carolina, Siri Mullenix in goal for Washington. Their contributions today will be critical. Hagar Risa, Carolina Courage, playmaker extraordinaire, sets the table. For Birgit Prince and Danielle Fotopoulos, the ravenous beasts up front. This multifaceted soccer personality is the margin of victory. Some goalkeepers lose games for you, some hide from the challenges, others steal victory from the jaws of defeat. Siri is the Mullen X Factor for Washington. The Freedom also have Mia Hamm, the greatest scorer in soccer history, who still appreciates the chance to win the Founders' Cup. These opportunities are, are getting fewer and far between, and just enjoy it, um, every single minute of it, every single minute of it. And when you enjoy it, do it from the standpoint that you're, you're leaving nothing, you know, you're giving everything you have out there. Imagine a color contact lens that combines the science of vision and the art of color. It's ActiveView 2 Colors brand. Now you can look your best with colors that are vivid yet natural. 
the secrets in the color enhancing layer. And even if you don't need vision correction, discover the incredible comfort of AccuView 2 colors from the number one doctor prescribed brand. AccuView, advancing the science of sight. It's just the same old thing. I, I need adventure, excitement. I, I'm suffocating. Okay, you can drive. Spice things up. The Hyundai Santa Fe, V6 power, full-time four-wheel drive, and the freedom of America's best warranty plan, the Santa Fe. Don't even think about it. I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, your... Only Venus from Gillette gives you smoothness that makes you feel like a goddess. Each shower safe refill has soft cushions that surround three blades for the closest shave ever in just one stroke. So close, your skin stays smoother, longer, which all goddesses deserve. Venus, reveal the goddess in you. Now indulge yourself with new Satin Care Shave Gel from Gillette. Let's do this. Frozen turkey. New kid. What do you call the only side-by-side -side that's wider on both sides? The wide-by-side. Possibly the most versatile refrigerator in the whole wide world. Allow me. The wide-by-side. Another dependable idea. You need help to your car with that? Only from Maytag. To find Houston's best jobs and careers, tune into Houston Chronicle Jobs TV every weekday from 6 to 7 a.m. Right here on PAX 49 KPXB. Hey, it's me, Hilton, and Baby Hilton here at Hilton Furniture and Mattress announcing the first annual Baby Hilton sale. For a limited time, 50% off selected bedrooms, dining rooms, living rooms, bunk beds, ooh, mattresses too. Immediate delivery, immediate financing, also available 12 months, same as cash. Call today, 910-FACT, the first annual Baby Hilton sale, 50% off. Hilton Furniture and Mattress, I-45 South, exit Fuquay, just inside the Beltway. Ooh, and that's a fact, Jack. Yay! A lot of auto insurance companies advertise they'll save you money. Concord Insurance says their rates are $229 less than Farmers, $319 less than GEICO, and $394 less than State Farm. Well, I have a message for Concord. Auto insurance discounters beat your rate by $418. In fact, if we can't lower your premium, we'll pay you $500 in cash. If you really want to save money on car insurance, call auto insurance discounters at 713-789-AUTO. Welcome back to Atlanta. Singing our national anthem today is RJ from American Idol. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rockets rang the lamp The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave Oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave Herndon Stadium in Atlanta for Founders Cup 2, the WUSA 2002 championship, and the lineup for the Carolina Courage. It includes Germany's Player of the Year, Birgit Prince. Since her arrival June 1st, she has led the WUSA in scoring with 12 goals in 15 games. Today I'm playing center forward, and my job is, of course, scoring goals, but um, I 
have to do much defensive work too because we are defending as a team and it's very important that the front runners um, make the game predictable for the defense. For Washington, WUSA Rookie of the Year Abby Wambach had a goal and three assists when Washington beat Carolina on July 31st. Today I'm going to be playing forward, up top for the freedom, and I'm just going to try to hold the ball and hopefully get some scoring opportunities and hopefully put the ball in the net a few times. Both Wambach and Prince, two of the more feared goal scorers in the WUSA. Last year, we went to PKs to decide the inaugural Founders Cup champion, the San Jose Cyberes, defeating the Atlanta Beat. This year, the Washington Freedom and the Carolina Courage. Last year, they tied for last place in the WUSA, and a year later, they have made all the right moves, Anson, and they are in a position to come all the way full circle and finish out on top. Well, you know, we couldn't pick uh, two better teams to be in the final. I mean, what you want to see is attacking soccer. These are the two best offenses in the league. They've all got uh, personalities up top that can shred defenses on their own, so this should be an exciting final. Along for the ride, we've got a third member of our broadcast team. Here's Eric Free. Thank you, Beth. You ran through the starting lineups, but why no Mia Hamm in the starting lineup for Washington? That's by design. She's coming back from knee surgery on June 12th. She's been coming off the bench. She only had one start, and it's worked out pretty well. Washington, in those games since Mia's return, 10 wins, one loss, two ties. So why isn't she in the starting lineup in the biggest game of the year? Well, head coach Jim Gavara says, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But he did tell me yesterday he does plan to tweak it a little bit, and he may bring her in a little earlier than the end of the first half. So we'll keep an eye out and see one of the best players in the world when she makes an appearance on the field. Guys? Thanks, Eric. Uh, I think uh, he is going to tweak it. It's insane to leave her on the bench the entire first half. I think she's going to have some appearance in the first half. I wouldn't be surprised if it's 20 or 25 minutes in. With Mia, unbelievable the job that Washington has done there. Last loss was back on June 22nd, and it was to this squad here, the Carolina Courage. We are set for the opening kickoff. When we talk to the players, they mention things like an Olympic gold medal, the World Cup, and now winning the Founders Cup is right up there with those two phenomenal achievements. The Carolina, the regular season champions in blue, Washington in white. Danielle Slayton, the league's defender of the year, chips it over the top. Beth, both teams are set up in a similar shape. They're both in a 4-4-2, and it's a similar 4-4-2 uh, in terms of shape as well. They're playing without extensive width in the midfield in a tight sort of diamond in the middle. Jen Grubb taking the free kick. And Kristen Luckenbill, the WUSA goalkeeper of the year. We'll have a goal kick coming up. The numbers for Lux, save percentage is third best in the league. She had the most saves of any keeper in the WUSA. Throwing coming up for Danielle Slayton. Slayton is there. Of course, Slayton in the lineup, that's the advantage of having her in there. If Baiji had been pushing that by Brooke O'Hanley, who has been playing there, she could have gotten in because of the speed differential. So Slayton in this lineup for 90 is huge for Carolina. Little her cross will go up and over the top. Turn, turn, turn. Skyler Little. We will probably see her twin sister Jackie later in the game. Playing together this season for the Washington Freedom. Jackie already has a Founders Cup. She won last year while playing for the San Jose Cyber Rays. And there is Skyler Little, a 24-year-old from Pacific Palisades, California. As is typical of finals, what you're seeing right now is both teams reluctant to uh, start a rhythm yet. 
Midfields are compressed, it's compact in there, and they're sort of pinging long balls back and forth. They don't want to be the first team to make a mistake in the back. There is Hege Risa, the Norwegian international. 25 points on the season, six goals, 13 assists. And as you mentioned, loves to feed the ball to Prins and Fotopoulos in particular up top. Prins goes down after a collision with her former roommate back in Germany, Steffi Jones. Very good sportsmanship from Steffi. She was pointing to Emmy Barr to send that out of bounds and she went right over and is now tending her uh, roommate from Germany. Let's look at this collision again, see what happened and how her bell was rung. Well, two big players going for it. Yep, it looked like uh, Steffi Zone, uh, Jones headed her right after Birgit headed it. You can see that. Birgit wins the header. Uh, Stephanie, obviously not trying to smack her, ended up heading her on the side of the head. Looks they, like she's okay, though. They have been playing together as teammates in Germany for years. They won a club championship together over in Germany uh, over the uh, spring. And now on opposite sides here in the WUSA with the utmost respect for one another's abilities. And you know, Beth, they finished one, two in the most viable player in the league in Germany as teammates, which shows the respect they have in their home country. Popped up in the air off of Jones. Well, one of the key reasons for the turnaround that these two teams have made are the additions that the coaching staff have brought on, like Prins and Jones. And the whistle will go against Washington as Captain Tiffany Roberts in there with the sliding tackle. She's a bit incredulous here, and she should be. I don't know whether this is necessarily a, a bad tackle. She got the ball, and Pouet fell over her. But that's the referee trying to establish early that he's going to take care of the attacking personalities. Ricardo Salazar, the referee today. It is a hot day in Atlanta, over 90 degrees. Flipped on again by Wambach. And Beth, you can see their strategy on the set pieces from the back. They push Jones up. Then they've got Jones, Wambach, and Mackinnon, all of them tall, that can flick it into the box. Well, headed out of there by Nell Fettig. Fettig, another player that was uh, crucial to the turnaround. Well, today's game is brought to you by Hyundai. Every Hyundai is backed by the freedom of America's best warranty. The Hyundai Advantage, freedom is calling. Answer it with Hyundai. By AccuView brand contact lenses, advancing the science of sight. And by American Legacy Foundation, join Legacy Circle of Friends and help women unite to be smoke free. Birgit Prince pushing forward. Collision in the box and a corner kick coming up for the courage. Boy, but you can see the physical separation in terms of raw speed between Prince and Moore. Talk about closing speed. Moore's trying to get this thing safely tucked away. And Birgit, like a rocket, closes her down, puts her under pressure, and Moore does her best just to keep the ball away from Birgit, sends it out for a corner kick. That's a crucial matchup because Kerry Moore will be man-marking Birgit Prince today. Siri Mullenix directing traffic in goal. Out swinger, Wombach heads it out. And Wombach was matched up with her former University of Florida teammate, Danielle Fotopoulos, on that corner kick. That'll be an interesting matchup to watch. Mackinac looking up top for Baiji. Tiffany Roberts, known as TR, turns it back outside. Very nice work by Tiffany in tight spaces to get the ball into midfield. Prince. A lot of attention focused on Birgit Prince. Slayton chips it into the area. Fotopoulos trying to run on. Well, we touched on the matchup between Kerry Moore 
Bear. And Bear good friends midway through the season. She started man marking 10 games ago. And in those 10 games, she's only allowed three goals. Prince, Hooper, and Katya. And look at the players she's been able to shut down. Nobert Pichon, McMillan, and Minor. But there's one thing in common between all those players, Anson, that have scored on Carey. Yes, they are big, and they can push her around a bit. And Jim Gabera is not naive to this. He talked about this. He said Birgit Prince is a nightmare matchup for Kerry Moore. But still, with what she's done with the other uh, strikers in this league, he's going to give her that chance again. And even Kerry Moore said, hey, I know I'm in trouble in this matchup. I've got to use my intelligence and my technique. Low center of gravity so that Prince isn't able to push her around. And, you know, it's not just size. We saw just a moment ago on the uh, replay that uh, Kerry Moore's running onto a ball. Birgit Prince is about 7 to 10 yards behind her, and at about no time, uh, Birgit closes the gap. Fedek taking the kick. Fotopoulos knocks it on. Risa the one time. And it's over the top. Well, we would like to welcome our friends at WTSN and our viewers across Canada. The Founders Cup 2 is being broadcast live throughout Canada and WTSN has carried WUSA games regularly throughout the season. Watching the progress of Charlotte Nonan and Charmaine Cooper, two of the Canadian Nationals who play with the Atlanta Beat and were eliminated in the semifinals. And a golden goal by Carla Overbeck from Carolina. Way. Trying to slide it through to Wombach. You can see on any goal kick, a goal kick or goalkeeper distribution how tight the teams are in midfield. You can see it now. They don't start to expand out until possession is won by one team or the other. Grub battling Fotopoulos in the air. Now you can see Ani Mackinen start to come out here to create some width in midfield. Brooke O'Hanley all over her, forcing Mackinen to send it out of bounds. Mackinen, a former All-American at Notre Dame. Roberts keeps it for Carolina. Prince, Uni Lin. And there's Mullenix. Siri Mullenix has just been phenomenal this year. Coming off of off-season shoulder surgery, she also had a hand fracture during the season, and she led the WUSA in her save percentage. She is a great goalkeeper, Beth, but what she's telling us, and she's right based on what we've seen, this is the best I've ever seen her play right now, and she's been the Olympic goalkeeper. She's played in national team games uh, throughout her adult career, and yet now she says she's playing her best. Washington will keep it. That was good defense. Brooke O'Hanley doubled back to help Danielle Slayton on Baiji. Skyler Little with the throw in. Mackinen redirects in front, headed down. Baiji almost got a foot on it. The offside flag was up. Kuei and Bai Ji, the Chinese internationals. Bai Ji came last year and kind of cleared the path for her country mate. And Bai Ji has been real hot. Jim Gabara making a switch. Bai Ji had been playing in the midfield and now much more of an attacking role down the stretch, Anson. And that's been one of the keys for them. Yes, it has, because now they can't concentrate on Abby until Mia gets into the game. So it spreads out the, uh, the sort of a player that can penetrate defenses and she's got an ally up front now so Wambach doesn't have to play alone. Grub. And it's going to be a corner kick coming up for Washington. Abby Wambach wearing the microphone for us today. Here are some of her thoughts. I'm transitioning right now. We're just too frantic. We need to slow the ball. When you're going up, just slow it down, relax. Game possession, stop, go through it all the time. Of course, the irony hey. is she's talking there to... Hey. Jones tried to get it in front. Yes. Talking to Anne Mackin, and a player tactically is one of the most sophisticated uh, uh, in the league. That's some pretty good leadership, too, from a rookie. Absolutely. Albeit the rookie of the year in the WUSA. She and Danielle Slayton had quite a battle back and forth for that award. 
You can see the respect they give Hega. Risa, Lynn has some space on the right. Rudy trying to get around Grubb, does so. Save Monix. And a corner kick coming up for Carolina. Right now, Beth are giving Hega Risa too much room. They gave her too much room on that pass. Look at this thing. Finds uh, Uni Lin in a seam, looks up, cuts it back inside, sees a chance, tries to take on Mullinex. Mullinex too quick, parries it from the near post. Fotopoulos and Prins, big targets in the area on the corner. Looking far post, Wombach was there. Headed back in by Robertson, knotted over the top by Prins. Let's check in now with Eric Freed, who's got a special guest. Eric? Thank you, Beth. We're expecting a high-scoring game here today, so who better to talk to about scoring than Tiffany Milbert, the all-time leading scorer in the WSA? It's not too late to give a prediction here. Why don't you size up this game for us, Tim? Well, I just think right now that the game's settling down. Um, you'll see a lot better soccer action probably after 30 minutes, um, and then I think the forwards are going to take over for both teams. little downtime for Tiffany right now, but the All-Star game's coming up in your hometown of Portland. You must be psyched. I'm so excited about it. I think, um, you know, Portland really rallies when there's a big time event um, coming to the city. And so I think, uh, you know, it's going to be crazy. Portland's her hometown, but she loves coming back to Georgia. Remember, in 96, she scored the game-winning goal in the gold medal game. Guys, back to you. Tiffany Milbert is right on the money. Right now, the teams are starting to settle into a more possessional game. And as the game wears on, it'll be uh, more and more uh, attack-oriented as they feel comfortable. And that uh, goal in the Olympics, uh, they are honoring actually at halftime here at the Founders' Cup, the 96 Olympic gold medalists. And uh, if you're interested in tickets for that All-Star game, it's September 21st. Now in Portland, check out the WUSA.com website. There is Carrie Moore. Peg a bit frustrated on that one. She had a nice combination opportunity with Danielle Fotopoulos who didn't read it and backed off and it was intercepted. But you can see this midfield battle shaping up already between Jones and Hegarisa. Yep. We're talking an awful lot about Birga Prince and one of the things that Jim Gabarro was concerned about, hey, we cannot forget about Fotopoulos either up top. Another big target. And one of the concerns was if Prins can kind of suck Carrie Moore out of the run of play, then Fatopoulos may get isolated on a defender 1v1, and that's not a position he wants to be in either. Well, uh, the disadvantage in man marking is the attacking team dictates your shape. So basically, wherever Birgit goes, Carrie Moore has to follow her. That's to the attacking team's advantage, because then obviously there are more seams in a flat three with Moore taken out of the play. Mackinen will leave it for Skyler Little. 15th minute. No score here at Founders Cup 2. On back, right back to Little. Plays it to Abby. Two more Florida teammates. Baxter played with Wombach at the University of Florida. Fotopoulos was a part of that great team they had. Throwing again, looking for Wombach. Lucky goal, covers it up. Well, log on to WUSA.com to cast your vote for the players you think should be on the field in that first ever WUSA All-Star Game, September 21st in Portland. And I got a feeling Tiffany Milbert will probably be a part of that. The game will be broadcast right here on PAX 4 Eastern, 1 Pacific, WUSA.com to cast your all-star ballot. Now it's settling into the game that Tiffany Milbert predicted. Where the offenses start to take over a bit as the players settle down. Dancing the flow and the pace of the game right now. With Mia Hamm still waiting for an opportunity. Who way? Sights one up, lets it rip high over the top. What do you think?
think strategically is something that Jim Gabar and his staff are talking about down there now. Hey, with the game tied, do we kind of hold Mia out a little bit longer, or do we need to inject a little something sooner than we had thought? Beth, that's a great question. I think that's exactly what's going through his mind. He almost wants this game to stay tied as long as possible and then bring Mia in as late as possible because then obviously she has more energy for the balance of the game. So if it stays like this, he's going to be in no rush to inject her. If the Carolina Courage take over, however, yeah. then he's got a trump card to throw into the game to try to change domination. And we've sat right here in the booth and seen what happens when Mia gets injected into the game. A shot of adrenaline. Yes, uh, her teammates and the coaching staff talk about how she has found her passion for the game once again. Uni Lin, the injured courage player, slow to get up. Muckendale will just throw it out of bounds so that Lin can get some attention. It looks like Uni may just try and walk it off. She seems to be okay. Looking at it. Yeah, she comes in hard. It looks like kneecap to kneecap, which hurts. <laughs> Maybe even a little wind knocked out of her, which also is crippling, but she seems to be fine now. I think she may have taken the double whammy, one knee to knee and the other knee right in the midsection. Teresa to Fotopoulos. Beer get friends. The series was superb in tight space. Across. Emmy Barr got a head on it. Throw in Washington. Watching Marsha McDermott's practice yesterday had a great uh, 3v3 plus 2 set up in tight space, and that almost replicated what I saw in yesterday's practice. Low in front, Grubb. Out to Baiji, the one touch, one back. Hanlon hustling back to intercept. Good rhythm. One and two touch ball moving across the field for the courage. Fatopoulos, Teresa, got some room, and she scores! Carolina takes the lead in the Founders' Cup. Fatopoulos, Teresa, terrific goal! stuff here, Beth. Sideline to sideline, one and two touch, ball moving quickly. Superb final pass into Hegarisa. Ball is rolled in beautifully, excellent preparation. You can see Hega here starting to make her run. Now you're going to see the runs going out here. It's flicked on, totally unmarked, first time back of the net. That was a look from our clear view by AccuView. Watching again. Flicked in by Fotopoulos. Great first time finish near post. Hegarisa, back of the net. It was Ann Cook with the service to Fotopoulos, who spotted Risa in her peripheral vision, redirected it out wide right, and Hege buries it in the back of the net. What set that bath is how quickly and effectively Carolina was moving the ball through midfield. Seams appear in a defense if the ball moves consistently and quickly. The longer you hold the ball one spot, the easier it is for the defense to decide how to defend that spot. Marissa was telling us the other day when she feels on top of her game, it's almost like being in a tunnel. I see the moves before they actually happen. And she carried it out right there. Now what has to be going through Jim Gabera's mind is, well, what are we going to do? Do we put Mia in now? Risa, her seventh goal of the season. Stacy Burton, excuse me, was the one that set it up, feeding Fotopoulos. USA is proud to join Legacy Circle of Friends to help women unite to be smoke-free and to assist the American Legacy Foundation reduce the impact of smoking on women. That's why the WUSA will donate $100 to Legacy for every goal scored during today's game. That was a great shoulder charge by Steffi Jones, one of the few people that can push Birgit Prince off the ball. She did to win it. 
Stacy Burke to Danielle Fotopoulos, and then Hege Risa finishing in the 20th. Slayton battling with Mackinac. All went over the touchline, throwing to the Washington Freedom. Right now, this is a very confident Carolina Courage team, moving the ball quickly, even under good defensive shape and pressure. But remember, as you mentioned earlier, Beth, this is the first time that Tiffany Roberts and Danielle Slayton have started in a while together. Yep. Dating back to late June, as a matter of fact. When these two teams met on July 1st, the victory for Washington 5-2. Tiffany Roberts, who has the ball right now, did not play in that game. As Roberts gets it back, she was sitting out a red card suspension. And Roberts wins a corner here for Carolina. Just then she felt like she was at home when she played for me at the University of North Carolina. She was my right midfielder. And that is a move I've seen a thousand times, a change of pace. All kinds of targets in the box. Obviously, Fotopoulos here, back post, is one they're going to look for. Anything in here is going to be dangerous. Last corner was a dangerous one for Carolina. Wombach back. Trying to break out, and Abby is fouled. And let's check in now with Eric Freed. Beth, what a remarkable turnaround for these two teams. You mentioned it before, worst to first. So we were wondering, well, has that happened before in any pro sport in the United States? And we went to no less of authority than the Elias Sports Bureau, and they tell us there has never been a championship game or series in Major League Baseball, the NFL, NBA, or NHL, in which the competing teams had the league's two worst records in the previous season. So no matter what happens today, it's been a great turnaround and a great accomplishment for the freedom and the courage. Absolutely right, Eric. As Mackinnon fights for it in the corner, Luckenbill off her line to get it. And Jim Gabara, the head coach of the Washington Freedom, uh, has the headset on now down on the sideline. And Jim, of course, everybody wondering now with Carolina grabbing the lead, uh, how do you handle inserting Mia into the game? Well, we're going to approach it the same way we have down the stretch here. She's, you know, we plan on her coming in at halftime. If, you know, if the unforeseen happens, we give up a couple more goals here, then, you know, we might think to bring her in earlier. Jim, we were talking yesterday about uh, containing Hagarisa, and it looks like Jones has that primary responsibility. It looks like she's backing off a bit. Hagar's had some room. Uh, what adjustments do you try to make at halftime for that? Well, there's there's two parts of her game that you have to be concerned with. One is, is her playmaking ability, and the other is her off-the-ball movement. And I think on her playmaking ability, we've done a good job of limiting her service and, and the amount of time she's had the ball. What we haven't done a very good job of at all is, is running with her. She's had a couple of chances where she's wide open in our box, and, and they got a goal for it. Thanks, Coach. Sure. Thank you, Jim. Gavara, the head coach of the Washington Freedom. Donning Mackinac lets it rip. High over the crossbar. Oh, Gavara and his staff. A terrific job this year for Washington. They come in riding a 10-game unbeaten streak into the final. Anson? Well, I like this, uh, watching Mackinac take this thing uh, from distance. Uh, she can stick those kinds of shots. Uh, she's a great player from long range. She's got the leg. A great opportunity here, a bit high, but still the fact she took it shows she's in this game psychologically and she wants to impact. Some of the moves that Gabara and uh, GM Katie Button have made this year, picking up Jackie Little and Ann Cook from San Jose. They found Steffi Jones in Germany and brought her over. And then, of course, Mia coming off the injury and playing so spectacularly in the second half of the season. And, of course, the draft pick as well of Abby Wambach, who ended up being the Rookie of the Year. Very good organization, the Washington defense a moment ago. You had more on Prince, and Skyler Little was right behind. The top of this dummy is it. And there for the courage to run on. Risa, such a calming influence out there. The confidence that her teammates have in her is just incredible. Slayton looking for Fotopoulos. Brooke O'Hanley has an opportunity, lets it go, but a whistle before the shot and a handball called. I love what set this up with absolutely no time and space. Slayton makes something out of nothing. 
Gets pinged around, ends up at Hanley's hand. And yeah, prepared it. Set it beautifully, because I think it's much easier to trap a ball with your hand, don't you think, Beth? <laughs> and then still finishes it very nicely. That usually works best for me, but unfortunately, Salazar, the referee, was right on top of that one. Nice turn by Ann Cook. Kuwe trying to get it to Baiji. Fentopoulos turns it over. Steffi Jones. Jones' arrival pretty much coincided with Ham's return from injury and Molinix's return from injury, and that's when this team just took off. Let's take a look now at our AFLAC trivia question of the game. Who was the only U.S.-born player to finish this season among the WUSA's top five goal scorers? A tremendous influx of international talent. Among them, Birgit Prinz. Katia, the leading scorer in the league this year. Marinette Pichon, the wonderful addition for the Philadelphia Charge. Maren Minard out of Germany had a stellar season with Boston. Here's Finnish international on a Mackinac. Skyler Little set this thing up. She penetrated. Directed by Jones. Luck and Bill obviously into this. You could hear her organizing in the back. And clearing her palate, apparently. Luck and Bill, along with Jen Grubb and Thorey Bryant from San Jose, the only three players that didn't miss a minute of action this year in the WUSA. Duncan Bill has been in goal all summer long. Said last year, you know, we worked hard, but we didn't get any payback from it. This year, the hard work has paid off for the Carolina Courage. Linebacker almost was able to redirect it. Today's game is brought to you by Venus from Gillette. Reveal the goddess in you. By Health South, getting you back to work, to play, to living. And by Coca-Cola, proud to sponsor the WUSA. By Nike, proud to support WUSA and its athletes. Now the rhythm that uh, the Carolina Courage has been playing with is becoming a part of the Washington game set. That last series for them was superb. Right to left, to the cross, to a scoring chance. Tell you, Nell Fettig has improved so much in the last year. A year ago, I don't think she would have taken that physical risk to win that header, and now she's sacrificing her body all over the field. One back to the left. We've got some more from Abby Wambach on the mic. That was great, and you know, leading on the defensive side of corner kicks, Abby Wambach has won almost every ball they've sent in on a corner. So yeah, maybe she's the one we should listen to on corner kicks. And nine, of course, would be Birgit Prinz. And Abby and her teammates are saying, nine, nine, do not let her get the ball <laughs> on the corner. <laughs> now Jen Grubb. Her foot is feared by opponents. When you talk about Washington, they also, we can't let Grubb serve these kind of balls right here. Dangerous, and a score! Redirected in by the rookie of the year, Abby Wambach. And the freedom of China up off the free kick from Jen Grubb. Two factors in that. One is the leg of Jen Grubb. She's got one of the best serves in the league and also obviously the size and intimidating quality of everyone in the box. Looking at this again, look at this, it comes through. Actually, it may have flicked yeah. off of Fotopoulos' thigh into the back of the net. 
It was Fotopoulos marking Wombach to the former teammates at the University of Florida, and I think it did ricochet off of Danielle. And by Luckenbill. Gets back to one of the huge challenges in developing your players in the women's game. So many opportunities are finished with poor clearances or like that, they're redirected in. And word from the official scorer, Anson, is an own goal to knot it up, and Mia Hamm just settled back into her seat down there on the Washington bench. She's got a little more time to stay fresh. And stay rested out there, everybody else burning it up on a hot day in Atlanta. There was a period where the Carolina Courage had riding time with some good possession. Now the Washington Freedom has taken over. Another look at this. Great drive by Grubb. Redirected in. Lux tries to get over there. Can't get in as it hits the side panel. Another dangerous situation. Jen Grubb is setting up again. gets to it this time. Hega on a counterattack. Here come the courage into space on the right flank. And Cook tracks it down. Hege Arisa in the 20th minute and then an own goal in the 32nd. We're tied at one in Founders Cup 2. See a lower restraining line right back here where they start to pressure. They're giving the Washington Freedom their own defensive third to play make in. Risa, exquisite touch. Lin. Looking to get it back to Hege. Carolina. Risa will let it rip. Saved by Monix. What a wonderful attack. Great ball here into a scene from Uni Lin. Hega sees her half chance, hammers it. Mullinex in the air, pushes it over the bar. Look at this stepping in, great technique as she gets over it and drives it. Mullinex flying high to keep that out of the back of the net. Lisa has been so dangerous today for Carolina. Nell Fettig will take the corner. Swinger in front, Prince, Mullenix got a hand on it. The breakout for Baiji. Stacy Bird in the back. Oh, Hanley. Looks like a, a here is Abby Wambach uh, and the go own goal. Working on Fotopoulos. Cash, you saw forearm shivers and collisions uh, with opponents as Abby runs through there. Smacked into Baxter, smacked into one of her own teammates near the end. A one woman wrecking crew in the box. <laughs> she said, you know, sometimes one of the reasons why she's involved with a lot of fouls is you see fourth in the league in scoring, 10 goals on the season said, you know, I'm big and strong, and sometimes when I move smaller players out of the way, I'm just I'm just fighting for my own space. I'm with Abby. I, you know, I think yes. you know, just because you're big doesn't mean you shouldn't have everything called on you. Just That's because right. the little insects are bouncing <laughs> off you the whole game. You know, eat a meal, have a cheeseburger, you know, catch up with me. The pride of Rochester, New York. Little. all that much right now. Did very well. Annie Mackinnon threw all sorts of junk at her. Couldn't move her out of the way. Rudy Lynn will let that one go all the way over the far touch. 37th minute. As we see Danielle Slate, the defender of the year. Despite 
despite the fact that uh, she was hampered by a knee injury in the second half of the season, a, a terrific member of the U.S. national team, she's got a tough decision to make, Anton. She may have to have knee surgery in the offseason and would miss out spending some time with the U.S. national team in preparations for the World Cup next year. But it may be something she's got to do. Everyone has an opinion on this, and I think anyone that's had this kind of injury would probably encourage her to get it done now. I mean, uh, the pain involved eventually is going to be uh, ruinous for her. So I think all of us that uh, want her to basically play uh, as a personality on the national team think she should get it done, including Carla Warden-Overbeck, who's had this thing. A yellow card, Uni Len booked. Well, Slayton's injury is similar to Carla, similar to the one that Mia Hamm had, and uh, both of them admit it is a, uh, a very tough rehab, and there's the collision. Uh, good call by the referee. Uniland didn't have a chance at the ball, went through the back of the legs. Grub, another free kick. Slayton got ahead on it. But, Beth, this is not a violent game. I think both teams are playing uh, with good sportsmanship. Quite get to it. Great run by Cook, making something out of nothing, weaving through the defense, getting a half chance off. Second Founders Cup appearance for Ann, who played with San Jose last year. She was injured in the Carolina game a couple of weeks ago, a torn meniscus that she had rapidly repaired and is uh, back out there now for Washington. A 27 year old out of Springfield, Missouri. You can see how tough it is to match up with Fotopoulos and Birgit Prince in the air. Almost anything up there is flicked on successfully by Danielle. Wombat keeps it alive for the Freedom two-way. The Baiji. Baiji trying to get around Slayton across. And a corner kick coming up for the Freedom. What I like about both defenses right now, Beth, is the players aren't isolated 1v1. They're almost always playing against two. Even in that uh, situation, Baxter was screaming in support of Slayton. Now let's look at uh, the targets here. Obviously, Wombach coming from here. And blue. comes blue. And Jones coming near post. Looking far post. Wombach redirected off the post. She's jumping up and down. She knows that was close. Look at the smile on her face. What a great header under tremendous pressure. I don't think Luckenbiller, the, the defenders, thought she could sneak it in there. And I don't think they thought it was going to hit the post. Flag up again as Baiji was trying to make the run around Aaron Baxter. Interesting call there. They look tangled up. They had to be even. Wombach leaving wreckage in her wake. Behind the play, a courage player is down. Prince. Three white jerseys around her. Prince leaving wreckage in her wake. <laughs> Burke creating wreckage. I guess uh, it was the kiss of death when we said that. But it wasn't a physical it game. Wasn't it was a Nell game. Fettig back there that. And a yellow card being issued by Wombach after the fact, I believe. Salazar coming all the way back out to midfield. Very sophisticated refereeing. He let them play on. Absolutely cold cocked by Wombach. Fedek still suffering from the impact. So the yellow card to Wombach. Fedek, a key cog defensively, had been playing in the midfield. 
Marsha McDermott moved her back to central defender. And Washington, or uh, Carolina, excuse me, went on a five game winning streak in July. And Fedig has been back there ever since. Player Marsha McDermott calls probably the most underrated in the WUSA. That time Nell figured out a better way to absorb uh, Abby, which was. Prince going to the left in front. O'Hanley trying to get to it. And the push will be called on Fatopoulos. Tied at one, 43rd minute in the first half. And here is Fatopoulos to Hege McDonald's and Coca-Cola love to see that winning smile. And here's the smile for Abby Wambach and her Washington teammates as they tie it up in the 32nd minute. And the Freedom still have the trump card holding on to Mia Hamm. And now it looks like we'll uh, enter the game to start out the second half. Prince, Grubb trying to stay with her. Birgit, touch just a little too much over the end line. We're coming up on the Hyundai Halftime Report. Eric Freed will be joined by founding player and San Diego Spirit midfielder Julie Foudy. Anson will take the pen in hand and dissect the first half highlights for us. We'll listen in on the action down on the field through Abby Wambach's microphone, plus a very lucky yet, I'm sure, nervous fan will be kicking for $1 million. That's all coming up on the Hyundai Halftime Report. They're at Herndon Stadium in Atlanta for Founders Cup 2. Wambach. Nice touch back to Baiji. Great flick by Wambach to get the Baiji in on the left side. You can see thumbs up from Baiji to Abby to thanking her for getting her in. This is wonderful sense under pressure. You can see it happening here. She's going to flick it. Baiji gets in. Takes the half chance. Tries to bend it with the outside of her foot. Miss hits it. Carolina knows how dangerous Baiji can be. She scored twice in their win over the Courage at the end of July. She's been red hot lately. But in fact, her second season has been much more productive than her first for the Freedom. Fedek into the box. Fatopoulos. Carry Moore. They'll let it go for a goal kick, 45th minute, and a couple of minutes of stoppage time to be added on here in the first half. Another excellent flick by Danielle Fotopoulos to try to get someone in square. Absolutely brilliant assist she got on that flick to Hega for the first goal. Leon says Salazar. Very good shape in the back for the Carolina Courage. The flat four are playing as a unit. With the exception of the set pieces, Beth, Washington is having a hard time penetrating this. Baiji was slightly paying her attention. Back and trying to work around O'Hanley. Little, there to show one off of Slayton's back. That Slayton seems to be laboring a bit physically. Prince, 1v1, Grub, trying to slow Birgit down. Help arrives. Prince looking for Fatopoulos. And Kerry Moore steps in front. Great organization now in the Washington defense. Your get was delayed effectively by Jen Grubb. Skylar Little came over to provide cover. Kerry Moore was there. Stop 
stoppage time in the first half. Washington and Carolina tied at one. Teresa settles, looking for Prince on the left. Birgit, Grubb again there. Mullenix telling Mackinnon to get it out, and there's the whistle to end the first half. A.K. Risa with a goal for Carolina. Abby Wambach involved in the own goal in the 32nd minute to tie it at one. Okay, you've got to feel this. Your face has never felt so smooth. Here. New Daily Pore Cleansing Cloths from Clean & Clear. Gentle micro-scrubbers get your skin extra clean and super smooth every day. Wow. <laughs> clean and clear and under control. Not too close. What do you think? I got that insurance? What insurance is that, Yogi? That one. The one you really need to have. If you don't have it, that's why you need it. Need what? I flat. Well, if you get hurt and miss work, it won't hurt to miss work. Uh -huh. And they give you cash, which is just as good as money. Aflac. Ask about it at work. Here's John. It's getting to be time to say goodbye to you. Our time together has been the very best years of my life. I don't want to die and leave you. Go on with your life and love again. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I am so sorry I spoke. Did you know over 65% of cavities happen? In your back teeth! So Reach created Squeeze, the back toothbrush. It's designed to reach all your back teeth to help prevent cavities. Where they happen most! Reach Squeeze, the back toothbrush. To find Houston's best jobs and careers, tune into Houston Chronicle Jobs TV every weekday from 6 to 7 a.m. Right here on Pax 49 KPXB. Hey, it's me, Hilton, and Baby Hilton here at Hilton Furniture and Mattress announcing the first annual Baby Hilton sale. For a limited time, 50% off selected bedrooms, dining rooms, living rooms, bunk beds, ooh, mattresses too. Immediate delivery, immediate financing, also available 12 months, same as cash. Call today, 910-FACT, the first annual Baby Hilton sale, 50% off. Hilton Furniture and Mattress, I-45 South, exit Fuquay, just inside the Beltway. Ooh, and that's a fact, Jack. Yay. Your one-stop insurance store, auto insurance discounters. Homeowners insurance rates are going through the roof. Some have even doubled. Call auto insurance discounters. With multiple discounts, we can save you up to 35% with one easy phone call. Your one-stop insurance store, auto insurance discounters. Welcome to the Hyundai Halftime Report, brought to you by Hyundai. Every Hyundai is backed by the freedom of America's best warranty, the Hyundai Advantage. Freedom is calling. Answer it with Hyundai. And we're back here at Herndon Stadium on the campus of Morris Brown College, the home of the Atlanta Beat. They have transformed this into a beautiful soccer facility, and it is the home of Founders Cup 2. And we are joined now by Julie Foudy, that prolific goal scorer from the San Diego Spirit. She team. finally I'm broke through this year. So we've got two goals here in the first half. What do you think of the first half, Julie? Uh, I think it's a great half, back and forth. You know, a little nervous, as to be expected in the beginning, and uh, some good chances for both teams. It's a little hot, <laughs> so I'm happy I'm sitting up in that suite. I mean, not too happy, but... 92 degrees here at the field. Air conditioning feels nice. All these founding players have all the perks. More wins. More wins. You spoke at the Founders Ball last night and you said how impressed you were of how far this league has come in two years. Where do you think it's going next? Uh, I, it's been it's been phenomenal. I think, uh, you know, right now we've got some great sponsors, new ones added on this year, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Maytag. I mean, big sponsors. And, you know, people come to these games and they love the environment. We're a very fan-friendly league. Players are very accessible, so um, you know I couldn't imagine playing in front of a better stadium right here with with everyone sitting right on top. Yeah, and there's a lot of enthusiasm. So we're looking forward to to many many years here. All right, Julie, thanks for your time and enjoy the second half. That's Julie Foudy from the San Diego Spirit. She's going to be part of a halftime ceremony here honoring the '96 Olympians. We'll be back with more on the Hyundai halftime report after these words. 
is where I met Tracy. I met Phoenix. We all play together. We have fun together. He's the coolest. My nickname is Bigfoot. Goalie Queen. They call me Bulldog because I'm really aggressive. Soccer makes me feel pumped up. It gets you stronger. It makes me feel great. Soccer's when I run faster than anyone. I can play forever. What do women really want? Oh, the usual thing. Jewelry. Moisturizers. Bags. If you're a woman with a passion to play, then call now. Your magazine has arrived. Sports Illustrated Women. Tone up and fuel up. Cool styles and great gear. And now a special offer. Call now for a free preview issue. Absolutely risk-free. Get Sports Illustrated Women. Live it. I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, your Only Venus from Gillette makes it easy to feel as smooth as a goddess. Its three-blade refills are shower safe and simple to change. They're where you need them, when you need them. So the closest shave and smoothness that lasts is within the reach of every goddess. Venus, reveal the goddess in you. And now get that lasting smoothness with new Crystal Clear Venus. Hey, don't, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. It's okay, look, Daddy's here. Daddy's funny. We could all use a little help. <laughs> Daddy's funny. Imagine a color contact lens that combines the science of vision and the art of color. It's AccuView 2 Colors brand. Now you can look your best with colors that are vivid yet natural. The secrets in the color enhancing layer. And even if you don't need vision correction, discover the incredible comfort of AccuView 2 colors from the number one doctor prescribed brand. AccuView, advancing the science of sight. Back in Atlanta for Founders Cup 2, the WUSA on packs. We are tied one all at the half. And a look now on our Hyundai Halftime Report at the Telestrator and Anson, take it away on Carolina's goal. Well, this is a great goal. Watch this. Uh, Birgit challenges, goes off of Ani Makinen's foot. Now, look how quickly the ball moves, but I want you to watch Hega Risa right now. She's going to sneak in in a minute, but look at this. One and two touch. Ball is moving quickly, but here is the critical moment. Ani Makinen frees it right there. You've got Hege and Ani running together. Watch what happens here. Ani ball watches, looks that way. Hega goes that way, ball ends up this way. And that was in the 20th minute to give Carolina the lead. Here is how these two teams, Anson, have been trying to get behind the defense. And obviously this is a credit to the way they can face up Birgit Prince, because you see this 1v1 stuff uh, is outstanding. Both teams have 1v1 artists. That's the way Washington's trying to get in right now. Carolina more over the top, more splitting the D. It's great stuff for both teams. Abby Wambach was involved in the own goal that uh, the Freedom scored. And let's listen in now to more from Abby Wambach. Wait, I need a, I need a, Baiji, I need a penny. I'm superstitious. Okay, no problem. Thank you, thank you. Abby Wambach excited about the goal, but also excited about the fact that she's going to have a new running mate when we start the second half. Mia's getting ready to come on for the freedom. New Clean and Clear Blackhead Clearing Astringent. With a unique pore penetrating formula you use daily to help get rid of blackheads and keep them away. What are you doing in there? Taking care of my blackheads. But you don't have any blackheads. Exactly. Clean and clear and under control. Let's do this. Frozen turkey. 
New kid. What do you call the only side-by-side -side that's wider on both sides? The wide-by-side. Possibly the most versatile refrigerator in the whole wide world. Allow me. The wide-by-side. Another dependable idea. You need help to your car with that? Only from Maytag. No pads, no easy goals, and no time for injuries. That's why the WUSA chose HealthSouth as its official health care provider for sports medicine, diagnostics, and outpatient surgical services. To find out more about the medicine behind the game, log on to HealthSouth.com slash WUSA. You'll get the latest soccer health information and tips from the professionals that keep the players on the field. HealthSouth, the people who know. Scary. Yeah, and I bet they didn't have that insurance back then. What? Affleck. It gives your mommy money if she's sick and can't work. What does? Affleck. Pay attention. To what? Affleck. Affleck. Ask about it at work. Affleck. Did you know over 65% of cavities happen? In your back teeth! So Reach created Squeeze, the back toothbrush. It's designed to reach all your back teeth to help prevent cavities. Where they happen most! Reach Squeeze, the back toothbrush. It's the grand opening of Cameo Carpet's second location, and to celebrate, we're offering great prices and incredibly easy financing at both stores. Since 1987, the working people have trusted Cameo Carpet for fast, friendly flooring at the best prices. Like carpet with pad installed for just $8.99 per square yard, about a buck a foot. Cameo Carpets also offers name brands such as Mohawk's Forever Fresh Odor Eating Carpet, Cares Hardwood, Armstrong Laminate, Natural Stone, Ceramic Tile, and more. Save during the grand opening sale. Cameo Carpets, the working people's flooring store. This copyrighted telecast may not be retransmitted, reproduced, or rebroadcast without the express written consent of women's professional soccer. Back in Atlanta, as the Hyundai halftime report continues, tied at one all in Founders Cup 2 in Washington, Carolina. Time now for the Hyundai Million Dollar Halftime Kick. Charles O'Reilly from Vienna, Virginia. At the Fan Fest today, a chance to kick for one million dollars and put the ball through the Hyundai goal wrap. The money is his, and Charles just missed it. Up and to the right. He and his family, big Freedom fans. And his favorite player, Mia Hamm, and he'll get to watch Mia in the second half. Well, then Morgan, the president and CEO of the WUSA, and Buffy Swinehart, Aflac's cause-related marketing manager, presented a check to Kelly Hines from the Aflac Cancer Center and Caitlin McDaniel, a patient at the center, with money generated from jersey raffles at select WUSA games this season. More on the Hyundai Halftime Report when we come back to Herndon Stadium. size sedan bring joy to your life? It can if it has a powerful V6, plenty of room for five, and the freedom of America's best warranty plan. The Sonata from Hyundai. Life is better with one. Imagine a color contact lens that combines the science of vision and the art of color. It's AccuView 2 Colors brand. Now you can look your best with colors that are vivid yet natural. The secrets in the color enhancing layer. And even if you don't need vision correction, discover the incredible comfort of AccuView 2 Colors from the number one doctor prescribed brand. AccuView, advancing the science of sight. While most people with mobility problems are having trouble just getting around, at age 92, Joy Cullison's out seeing the world. With a hover-round, you're free to see the world in the most advanced power mobility chair ever created, so you can enjoy life to its fullest. The hover-round allows me the freedom to live on my own and not depend on somebody else. Now with the hover-round, I'm free to go to the grocery store, outside, anywhere. With the hover-round, I have a lot more self-confidence. It's round for a reason. 
Hover Round's unique round design provides amazing maneuverability for independent living. It's ruggedly engineered with power to spare. It disassembles quickly for transport or easily attaches to a standard lift. Its adjustable seat is constructed to automobile specifications for maximum support and long-term comfort. One-touch driving, speed control, and automatic braking make it safe and easy to drive. It elevates to extend your reach and help with transfers. And unlike bulky power wheelchairs or scooters, the Hoverround's compact round design makes it easy to avoid furniture and negotiate tight turns. Owning a Hoverround is even easier than driving one. We work with most insurance companies and the VA, and we'll process your entire application and handle all the paperwork. And if you qualify like Juanita, you'll say, With Medicare and our supplement, it didn't cost a dime. Not one dime. Our mobility specialists are standing by. To get a free evaluation and free Hoverround video, call the number on your screen. Declare your independence. Call now to set yourself free. The next time, I'm going to the Grand Canyon. Coming Monday, September 16th, it's not just about the body, <laughs> but also the heart. Body and Soul, premiering Monday, September 16th on PAX TV. A special tribute to the 96 Olympians here in Atlanta, which, of course, is where they won their gold medal. Well, it's time now for the Health South Health Report. Get back in the game with Health South. Here's Dr. Yvonne Satterwhite. Staying well hydrated is critical to maintaining peak performance levels in the competitive athlete. Early signs of dehydration include lightheadedness and sluggish play. As thirst is a poor indicator of hydration levels, scheduled drinking of fluids such as sports drinks and water is recommended before, during, and after games in practice. Also, avoidance of alcohol and caffeinated beverages is necessary. And as we get set to start the second half, let's check in with Eric Freed. Eric? All right, on this hot day, we look to the fresh legs on the bench, and as expected, Mia Hamm getting set to check back in, not before the end of the first half, but she'll come out for the second half. So what does Carolina plan to do to counteract one of the best players in the world? Two words, Venus James, a lot of speed. And I asked Venus yesterday about coming out there and trying to shadow one of the best players in the world. She said, it's no big deal. I go up against the best players in the world and practice every day in Fotopolis and Prins and Risa. So she is up to the challenge. She won't be alone, of course. There's Tiffany Roberts and Danielle Slayton, a couple of pretty good defenders out there to keep an eye on number nine. Well, that's interesting uh, because uh, I think uh, Mia Hamm is going to be a handful <laughs> for Venus James, but I admire her spunk. Well, Venus scored twice in an earlier matchup with uh, this Washington Freedom team. In fact, it was her first start uh, as a member of the Freedom. And unfortunately for Venus, Anson Mia has been telling us the last couple of days uh, that uh, her speed has actually improved, believe it or not. She's running better and working less, so she's much more efficient out there. Well, you know, I called her after one of her amazing performances. I, in fact, I saw her run past Charolta Nonan. Remember that game? I mean, no one runs by Nonan. She ran past her twice, stuck one, another one off the bar. I called her up and said, Mia. I said, what's going on? She says, Anson, this is the fastest I've ever been. Scary. The most prolific goal scorer in soccer history, men, women, any country. And as you would expect, her teammates, including Abby Wambach, say there's a huge surge of confidence when Mia checks in. Just to get through the first half, because I know once Mia gets in there, she poses such a threat for, for an opponent that um, it gives us you know, a breather. It gives us a lot less responsibility because she takes over that. Whether it's um, inherent or she does it just, you know, because she's been sitting on the bench for 45 minutes and it builds up and something builds up inside of her where she just wants to come out and do something. I think that's a great analysis by Abby Wambach. I think Mia's just bursting to get into the game. I think watching the first half pumps her up. And yeah, she comes in like she's been shot out of a cannon. One of the... Uh Thing she also said was, you know what, it, as I get a little older, I realize it's not always about the quantity of the minutes, but the quality of the minutes that you put in out there. Quick restart, looking for Baijin, Luckenbill is there. 
So far, actually, Venus James is a bit nervous. Her first touch has deserted her. First two times she's played it, she's misplayed it. She is, in fact, shadowing Mia. Birgit Prince, a little stinger on the leg for Birgit, who is now down. Took the deflection off of her leg. Looking at it again. Yep, her Look, ankle yep. turned just as Carrie Moore was clearing it out. So right now she feels maybe a bit of a, an ankle sprain. That would be a huge problem for the courage if she can't go. Well, here's why. She's tied for second in the league, 32 points. Those 12 goals coming in just 15 games. The courage will play on without her for the time being. A man down with Prince trying to work out the ankle injury. Whistle goes against Venus James. Again, Jen Grubb. The goal coming off of a free kick, a set piece. Looking for the head of Steffi Jones. Little. Skyler Little. Pushes it wide to Mackinnon. Line. And a goal kick here for Kristen Luckenbill. Well, today's game is brought to you by Band-Aid Brand Adhesives, the official sponsor of the WUSA training team. By Maytag, official home appliance sponsor of the Women's United Soccer Association. And by the U.S. Soccer Foundation, proud to support the WUSA. Just underway here in the second half. Hege Risa scoring in the first half for Carolina and then an own goal, tying it up for Washington. Beth, I can't tell right now how Birgit has been affected by this. She seems to be moving, maybe not as confidently. She has come back onto the field, back to even strength now for both clubs. And is a stepping a little gingerly up top. TR to Fettig. Nell Fettig, lots of space. Venus James. Deflected out by Mia. Corner kick for the Courage. And as I said before, Abby Wambach's been dominating this in the air. defensively and offensively. Nell Fettig. Away! Headed over the touch, throw in for the courage. We're tight, we're tight! And another corner kick coming up. We talked about the additions for Washington. Fettig, a big addition this year. Coming over from New York, of course, Birgit Prinz also joining the squad. Marsha McDermott making Danielle Slayton their top draft choice. And some of the moves that they have made to improve this year. Steffi Jones clearing that one. Risa puts it back in place, Slayton trying to run on, and Molinick grabs it. Let's check in now with Eric Freed. All right, Beth, thanks very much. We're here with another one of the founding players in town this weekend, Christine Lilly from the Boston Breakers. All the players are back here. It's been one big reunion. What's it like when everybody gets back together? It has. It's been great. I mean, we've been up late chatting, catching up, telling stories, and um, it's a lot of fun. I mean, we, before the game, we went over to the Fan Fest, signed autographs, 
talk to fans, talk to sponsors, and I mean, we love getting together, and we have no stress because we're not playing. <laughs> well, your season's not done with the Breakers. You got a couple more games coming up, including getting Michelle Akers out of retirement. Right? We do. We're honoring Michelle at our September 14th game in Boston when we play uh, Freedom, actually. Um, just recognizing her for all she's done for the sport, and you know, she's a great ambassador of the game, and we want to recognize her for that. And then we in October up at um, Oneonta Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame game for Christine Lilly and the Breakers here enjoying things today. Guys, back to you. Well, that's what part of the exhibition uh, season, the off-season for these clubs, still playing games, still staying sharp, Anson. Well, what a great season Christine Lilly's coming off of. She was, uh, as we have come to expect, one of the assist leaders in the WUSA. She finished tied with Lisa for second with 13 assists. And expects to be a main cog again for the U.S. national team as they begin their World Cup preparations this fall. A lot of them will be uh, getting together in another week or so. they got a national team camp. And as April Heinrichs will start putting together the squad that will head to China next fall. We the Courage grab the lead again. We can go back to the previous game. One of the issues is can you hold on to Prince's shot? Look at this. Great development. Up the flank. Ball's played into Birgit. Just hammers it first time. Siri can't hold it. Danielle Fotopoulos redirects in the rebound. Look at this. Just striking it with such force. The keeper couldn't hold it. And there's Fotopoulos rolling it in. Look at that. He leans back. She series hands to her knee to in front of Danielle Fotopoulos to the back of the net. Similar to last weekend's semifinal when Brian Ascuri could not handle Prinz's blast and Carla Overbeck rammed home the golden goal in overtime. Yeah, this time around it's Danielle Fotopoulos. The 53rd minute, Fotopoulos, her 12th goal of the season. She scored on a PK last week in the semis, and Birgit Prinz has uh, shaken off that ankle injury that she suffered just a few moments ago. Funny, Beth, I had my colleagues team together in the preseason uh, last week talking about the people that score goals in this league, and the one common denominator is all of them can hit the ball hard. Here comes Prinz again. It's Big just, collision near midfield. It's just so hard for a woman goalkeeper to protect a goal designed for men. Baiji gets the yellow. Now it's becoming a bit chippy. Yeah, that was incredibly dangerous. Almost a scissor after she stepped in. Free kick for the Courage. Chipped into the area. Abby Wambach heads it out. The Courage continue to apply the pressure. And uh, they have kept the ball off the feet of Mia Hamm thus far. Mia's one run, there was a great sliding tackle by Uni Lin to prevent her from penetrating further. Two way. Amy Barr looking for Ham. Pass picked off. Fedig into space. Carrie Moore tracking back. And Monix just has to play it over the touchline. Seven, five, seven, five. Fotopoulos with the go-ahead goal for Carolina. Trying to get by Barr. Well, 
Does your family love soccer? Check out Valpac.com and register to win the WUSA prize packs, including a personal soccer clinic with the WUSA player and league commissioner, Tony DeChico. Valpac.com. There are more savings online for you. A splendid afternoon here in Atlanta. Founders Cup 2. Two teams that tied for last place in the league a year ago. And have turned it around and one of them, just 12 months later, will walk away with the Founders Cup. Right now it's the Carolina Courage in the driver's seat. isn't a clinic in why front runners have to play defense. I don't know what we can show you more. Birgit Prince coming off a, an ankle tweak, steps in on Jen Grubb hard, wins it, and then with great composure, draws Siri Mullinex and tucks it lower left. Another angle on this, touches out in front of Grubb, Birgit comes in hard. First touch is perfect as she sets her up, rolls it into the lower left. 3-1, Courage. Prins has been a part of both Carolina tallies here in the second half. The 24-year-old from Frankfurt, Germany. 13th goal of the season for Birgit. Washington in a deep hole. The good news for the Freedom is they have scored 15 first half goals this season and 25 in the second half. So they are no strangers to the come from behind win this season in the WUSA. 3-1 Carolina, 59th minute at Herndon Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia for Founders Cup 2. Beth Mowens, Anson Dorns, and Eric Freed. Boy, what we've seen in these finals, Beth, that there's no lack of ambition for teams to score. Last year's 3-3 tie, and right now we're 3-1 in. doesn't appear the courage is going to sit in a bunker. Danielle Fotopoulos, her goal in the 53rd minute, Prince scoring in the 58th. And here come the courage for more. Looking for Birgit Prince again, got a piece of it, Mullenix with the save. And both players staying down. Collision in the penalty area. Great ball here from Burt to get Prince in on a run, slashing across. She gets her foot on it, drives it into Mullinex's midsection. And then uh, they both collided. Both coming at each other. Yep, need a midsection almost on both. Both players now getting up to shake it off, and Marsha McDermott, the head coach for the Carolina Courage, with the headset on, uh, down there on the sideline, and uh, Birgit now will be helped off with some concern, obviously, for you, Marsha, but uh, what did you talk about at halftime and uh, the results here with two goals for you in this second half? Well, first we thought we were actually defending well, and so we wanted to keep that same commitment. We're trying to keep them on the flanks and not let them switch through their high, they're playing it high and then back out and over to the other side. So 
we wanted to remind our team that, that we were doing well, but we weren't holding possession enough and we didn't have enough mobility for our front runners. And so we asked for more runs from our wing backs and our front runners and just to relax and hold possession. So, Marsha, what are you going to do with 3 1? Is uh, Tiff going to sit a bit? Any adjustments you're going to make? Well, we won't take the pedal off, the foot off the pedal just yet. I mean, uh, two goal lead with 30 minutes to play against Mia Ham and the Washington Freedom. You know, you still got to keep committing to the game, but um, we obviously have uh, Stacey Wilson warming up on the sidelines and some other options. Well, thank you very much, Marsha. We appreciate it. Uh, Carolina leading 3 to 1, 62nd minute. The winner takes home the Founders' Cup and a substitution coming on for Washington. Mackinnon will depart. And Jackie Little, who helped to set up Washington's goal in the semis, will come on. It was Little who fed Monica Gerardo for the game winner in the 80th minute. Go, Even though Little can obviously play up top where she's very comfortable, they put her in at flank midfield in a position for position trade with Mackinnon. So both twins are now into the game for the Freedom, Jackie and Skylar Little. The topless trying to win it in the air. Good way. Here's a touch for Jackie Little. Looking to become the first set of twins to win a major professional championship in the United States. Men or women. Little mixing it up with Slayton. Again, very good organized back four. Slayton was out there 1v1. Baxter comes up to make it a 1v2. Very secure in almost every attack by the Washington Freedom. Bill boots it across midfield. So many weapons, Anson, for this Carolina team. We now see the big weapon here for Washington. Mia Ham with an opportunity. Ham left the side and scores an incredible goal into the side of the net. Oh, it didn't take long for Mia to get it and send it home. A short touch. She cuts it inside and bends it with the inside of her right foot, and it goes flying right by Luckenbill. That was a look from our clear view by AccuView. Another look at this. She's in. She sets her up. She cuts it in. No one has her acceleration and just hammers it back post. That has just electrified the crowd. Here in Atlanta, the big guns are blazing in the Founders' Cup. Risa, Fotopoulos, Prince, Mia Hamm, and now Baiji, offside flag was up. Wow, what a goal. Sets her up with a little hesitation, change of pace, and with almost no space, drives it back far. I think Luckenville may have gotten the glove on that, but it didn't matter at all. Mia just ripped it by. Risa looking to counter with one of her own. Mullenix hugging that post. Saves it new side. End to end action. Goal at one end, save at the other. It's interesting now, Beth, obviously as these teams get fatigued, there's less compaction in midfield, so now there is more space to function in offensively. Part of the terrific crowd here at Herndon Stadium today. They have been treated Bar more. Rub 
throws it forward. Steffi Jones now pushing up. Jones looking for Ham. Well, the Freedom have definitely seized the momentum here after the Ham goal. Bar flicked on. Well back, Boise! Save Luckinbill! Kristen Luckinbill closed the angle beautifully. Showing Baiji nothing to make a superb save. Kuwe making a run at it. Luck and Bill, huge on this play for Carolina. Great serve here from the flank, flicked in by Jones, flicked again by Wombach. Baiji first time, but Luck and Bill's off her line. Well, let's hear uh, from Abby Wombach just a moment ago on Mia's goal. Terrific summer for that youngster right there, getting a chance to play alongside Mia Hamm and learn from the master. And making her own mark as well. Now Abby emboldened after the goal. We'll try and work around. the dangerous Carolina counter. Danielle Slayton. Lin. Stacy Burt struggling a bit on this flank as first Mia blows by her and then Abby blows by her. Is it wide looking for Slayton? Danielle's cross in front for Topolis. Gets through. Well, we talked to Carla Overbeck, and who would know better than she, Anson, how scary it can be to face Mia Hamm? She's quick, she's fast, she gets the ball at her feet, she runs at you, and it's terrifying as a midfielder or a defender. So, uh, you know, I think she knows that, and she's just, she's playing some of the best soccer of her career right now, and, you know, she's definitely someone that we have to look out for on Saturday. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Um, it's not like uh, Burke gave her a lot of room on that goal. <laughs> I mean, you give her an eighth of an inch, and she's going to blow it into the back of the net? Let's revisit our AFLAC trivia question of the game. Who was the only U.S.-born player to finish this season among the WUSA's top five goal scorers? And our answer, Danielle Fotopoulos. She was uh, amongst a group that included Katia, Marinette Pichon, Birgit Prins, Charmaine Hooper from Canada, and Dagny Melgren from Norway. And the Affleck duck chiming in. Affleck. Not once, but twice. Here's Mia Hamm. You know, Anson, it was almost as if Mia just, once she got the ball, said, okay, enough's enough. I haven't touched it in a while. I'm going to just go ahead and finish right here while I got it. And willed it in. Well, you know, maybe uh, they judged too soon on the goal of the year. That would have been a candidate. Stevie Jones. Two way wide to Baiji, the cross, Wombach's in front. And the whistle will go against Abby. And uh, now we'll uh, send it down to Eric Freed. Well, it's been impossible to take Brandi Chastain's eyes off this match. She's been so excited. Nothing surprises you anymore about Mia Hamm, though, does it, Brandi? Uh, Mia's never surprised me. I think her grace and her elegance on the ball, her determination and her competitiveness. Um, I, I, I wish she'd played 90 minutes because everybody would have got a treat, but I, I, her scoring a goal does not surprise me one bit. Uh, we're talking to someone who was a forward, a midfielder, defender this year. She's done a little bit of everything.
I wasn't going to get an answer out of Brandy while that was happening. Uh, you play just about every position on the field. What sort of adjustments do you see that need to be made for both these squads here, Brandy? Well, obviously, you know, the heat and humidity is always a factor in this game because everybody's jacked up, they're amped. And I think just settling the ball, what you saw here, just, you know, playing the ball easy to feed is probably the best adjustment you can make. I think everybody's giving their all. And I think it's been a very well-played final. You usually don't get good games like this in finals, and it's been excellent. Everybody's amped up and jacked, including Brandy Chastain, the biggest fan here. Back to you, Beth. Well, thanks a lot, Eric. Of course, Brandy was involved in the thrilling championship match last year uh, to conclude the inaugural season of the Founders' Cup when it ended up tied, ironically enough, here in the 72nd minute at 3 all, And then it went into overtime and PKs, and now Monica Girardo comes on for Baiji. Girardo had the game-winning goal in the semis. You know what's kind of interesting, even though the Courage has a 3-2 lead, they do seem to be a bit nervous out there right now, and it's not just one player. Cam's goal has swung the momentum. Washington has been very good, the best team, in fact, in the WUSA at coming from behind to win. They had four come from behind victories this season. And we're the only team in the league that had a 500 or better record in that category. Prince, there's Siri Monix. Well, don't miss the WUSA's first ever All-Star game when the world's best soccer players take the field at PGE Park in Portland, Oregon. The game will be carried live right here on PAX at 4 Eastern, 1 Pacific on September 21st. Tickets are available by calling Ticketmaster at 503-224-4400 or by going online www.ticketmaster.com. Hand back to Pouwe. She unleashes with the left. Fettig is there to take it. Now Steffi Jones will try. The crossbar. What seems to be happening now is they're dropping back. They're trying to protect the lead by not having any sort of compaction in midfield. So what the defense is doing right now is saying, we're going to run back to the goal line, and we need you midfielders to basically protect 120 yards of space. That's just not working. You can almost see the backs dropping off like right now way too early. And so players like Mia and Abby have time and space to face and attack. Again, Ham turns it inside. Fetig. She is getting beaten up in the area. Another one taken right in the midsection. You can sense the anticipation, the buildup of the crowd whenever Mia gets near the ball. Try the back heel to Abby Wambach. Now that was good what Hegarisa did just then. She knows her team is in a panic and she slowed the game down with two casual touches and a well-paced pass. Slayton gets tripped up. But you know, Mia has gotten to another level. Here she is, she's stacked up with two. Look at how quick she is. Cuts it back quickly, beats two defenders and gets the shot off. Mia scoring at a clip of once every 63 minutes this season. Phenomenal numbers. And so, yeah, I have Brandy Chastain's a curiosity. What would have happened in this game had she been subbed in yeah. earlier? Is 45 minutes enough for Mia and the Freedom? Seventy-sixth minute now. Gerardo. Back to Pouwe and Luckenbilt right there to take care of it. It's like the Carolina Courage has circled the wagons and they're just playing in front of their own goal. Eventually this will haunt them. This is the way, Anson, that Atlanta looked against Carolina last week in the semis, and it caught up with the beat in the 89th minute. And a game ultimately won by Carolina in overtime. Well, today's game is brought to you by Affleck. Ask about it at work. By McDonald's, proud.
proud to sponsor the WUSA. And by Health Sound, getting you back to work to play to live it. 77th minute, Carolina three, Washington two. Carolina's goals from Marisa, Fotopoulos, and Prince. An own goal and then a spectacular strike from Mia Hamm. Now Washington has gotten on board and good news for the Freedom is they have been outstanding late in matches. Looking for another one and just wide from Little. Unbelievable pass to get in behind the flat defense. Just missing wide. As Washington continues to attack. Abby finding the one seam in the back. Again, Luckenbill coming out and making herself big to force the shot wide. Flicked on by Photop, but again, Washington quickly retaking possession. Okay, come on. disappointed in that effort behind Mia Hamm. The two highest scoring teams in the WUSA putting on a show here in the Founders Cup. Carolina struggling to maintain any kind of possession. Here we go, Scuffy, come on! Well, back again looking for little Slayton is there. Lisa to Venus James. From what I'm seeing right now, the only player with consistent defensive intensity, ironically, is Birgit Prince, and unfortunately, she's up front. Well, today's game is brought to you by American Legacy Foundation. Join Legacy Circle of Friends and help women unite to be smoke-free. Call 1-800-4-A-LEGACY to help quit smoking. Here's Prince and Risa. That pass picked off by Grubb. Wombat on side and in position. The top two picks in the draft this year, Wombat and Slayton. Very well read by Nell Fedick. Saw Wombat turning the corner on Slayton, filled in the seam, clears it out of bounds. Here, kid, it's putting her physical stamp on the game. Hurt out of the back, deflected off of Mia. 80th minute, and all five playoff games in the two seasons of the WUSA have been decided after the 80th minute. Two of them in overtime on Golden Goals, and last year's Founders' Cup went to PKs. So we may not be done yet here in Atlanta. Too much pace for Uni Lin to track down. Right after Burt passed that ball, she had her hands on her knees. Fatigued. The bar. This side is a focus. Mia Hamm is over here. Mia looking for Little. Hamm with the quick restart. Bar. Left cross. Off of Wombach's head. I think she and Gerardo may have knocked heads on that one. Three second half goals in the game. Danielle Fotopoulos with the first tally, then Beer get friends, and finally Mia Hamm into the sun. McDonald's and Coca-Cola love to see that winning smile. And Washington hoping they've got a winning moment coming up here in the final 10 minutes. Fotopoulos has Prince Birgit rushing on again. And Jen Grubb back to save that 
that one. Spectacular desperation clearance off Birgit Prince to keep her out of the back of the net. Keeps Washington's hopes alive a little longer. Ham in the area. Mia Ham with the left. Luckenbill got a piece of it. Wombat trying to run on. And Abby will be whistled for the foul. Look at this end-to-end -end stuff. Jen Grubb here making up for a missed clearance. Fotopoulos nodding it on to Prince. Grubb spinning. Banging it off Prince. And that's one end. The other end, Mia Hamm slashing over the top. First touch, deserts her a bit, but still drives it across. Wombach has a chance. Jones to Pue. Mia. I can hear Marsha then trying to ignite TR to get her back to sit on the four. They've essentially got six players along that back line right now. Wombat redirects. Third minute. Freedom looking for the equalizer. And they are Beth right now. The Carolina Courage is hanging by a thread. It's not a question of if, if it stays like this, it's a question of when. Is there enough time? Whistle against free the uh, Freedom. Tiffany Roberts is now bent over, hands on her knees. Nell Fedig, hands on her knees. Burks. Substitution's coming on. Let's check in with Derek Freed. That Marsha McDermott was just giving Stacey Wilson instructions for a solid two minutes. The final message before she checked in, stay with Mia Hamm, mark Mia Hamm. So Wilson is coming in to provide some reinforcements defensively. The front runners for the courage, Patopoulos and Prince, exhausted. Every chance they get, they're coming over for some water. Carolina bench sitting down, nervous. The Washington bench up and thinking something great's gonna happen. It's just a matter of how much time that's gonna take. Thanks, Eric. Did you see that look? You see that look on Stacey Wilson? That is the physical embodiment of the gift of fury. <laughs> Stacey looking around. Right now, though, it continues to be Venus James shadowing Mia. Here's Venus. Mia turns her back. The substitution with some fresh legs from Jim Gabara up front. With the insertion of Tracy Milburn, another attacker. It looks like Stacy Wilson, along with Tiffany Roberts, is sitting on the four. So Marsha McDermott has made this decision to play a better defensive shape with Stacy there sitting. Steffi Jones! Now one back. Abby. Trying to get through a couple of defenders. Good defensive play from Nell Fedick. Tested down by Moore. Gets through Baxter to Jones. We got the hustle from Prince to get to it. Terrific battle, and Prince whistled for the foul. Prince is still the best defensive presence on the field for the courage. Here's how these two teams have beaten the defense. Look at the 1v1s for Washington. Nine of them. the top. Well, stay tuned to Pats for an 
evening of mystery and excitement, starting with diagnosis murder at 8 Eastern, 7 Central, when Dr. Sloan pretends to be a medical police consultant in order to investigate a case. And then it's drive time murders when a Chicago attorney and his gossip column his wife host a popular morning radio show. That's coming up on PAX. That 1v1 statistic, Beth, is what we talked about earlier. The Carolina Courage defense is backing off so much. It's giving players like Abby Wambach and Mia Hamm a chance to face the defense and run at them. Eventually, that'll catch up with them, and a ball will be buried in the back of their net. Fotopoulos. Offside flag is up. Well, now, Anson, the question is, Mia Hamm has come on for Washington. Does Marsha McDermott need to consider now Carla Overbeck, who is the calming influence for this courage team? Well, right now, the thing she's made in the back to throw in Wilson is the way she's going to solve and stem the tide. So Stacy Wilson, as you see, is actually over here on Burke's side of the field. Carla's option the last game was actually as an attack personality yep. on the left side of midfield. She had the golden goal last week and is looked at by her teammates as someone who settles everyone down. 88th minute, Carolina holding on. Now work a little clock. Slayton. This is a very good decision for the Carolina Courage, if for no other reason than to let the defense rest a bit by holding it up front so they can have the legs to defend with a bit more intensity when Washington attacks the next run. Slayton, the free kick. Far post, Fotopoulos. Venus James lets it go. Mullenix will start the freedom counter. Big blast from Siri. Again, the Courage will take their time. Hege Risa somehow settled that and started the run. This is a highlight reel. First, cleans it up, and then in one fell swoop, drags it with her as she penetrates. 90th minute in Atlanta. So close to claiming the Founders Cup, and we will play four minutes of stoppage time. Dangerous play called on Birgit Grubb, the quick restart, Wambach. Mia tries to put the hat on Venus James in a vicious collision with Stacy Wilson. Gift of Fury. Neither side backing down on that one. What I respect about both of these kids here is neither one backed off. Nobody there. Jones. Steffi gets it back. Jones and TR battling. Little cross near post again. Stacy Wilson. Great substitution by Marsha McDermott. Little corner kick coming up for the freedom. They scored in stoppage time a couple weeks ago against Atlanta to win it and clinch a spot in the playoffs. It was. 
today. No one has matched up with Wombat right here. Mia Hamm, far post. Looking for Wombat. Who way collides with Slayton. Into the second minute of stoppage time. Carolina buys more time as Molinix will come all the way out. Carolina tied for last place in the WUSA a year ago. And in one short season, they have turned it around and looking now to finish on top. And win Founders Cup too. Gerardo. Pass picked off Roberts. Excellent defense, Wilson over, helping out to make it again, a 1v2 on the flank. Third minute of stoppage time, Gerardo to cross, and final opportunity for Washington, Mia Hamm denied! The current defense comes up big! Little, Tracy Milburn. for the courage to kill some more time. Into the fourth minute now. Otopolis offside. Mullenix. That's it! The Carolina courage from worst Virgit Prins, the goal scores for the Courage. As the defense withstood a furious Washington rally led by Mia Hamm. The regular season champions take Founders Cup 2. And they'll bring it back to Cary, North Carolina. No reason for Mia Hamm to hang her head. She came in, played a great second half for Washington Freedom Team, was attacking to make it the game it was. Our Venus from Gillette player of the game, Birgit Prinz, the game-winning goal in the 58th minute. And not only for the job she did offensively, but defensively as well from her forward position. She also had a hand in the Fotopolis goal in the second half. And after her blast, ricocheted off of Siri Mullenix and was then put home by Danielle Fotopoulos. And a tough moment there for Mia Hamm. A spectacular goal from Mia in the 64th minute that turned the tide for the freedom. And just not enough time to get the equalizer. The final score, Carolina three, Washington two. Back to Herndon Stadium for the presentation of the Founders Cup after this.
Who is the only one that pampers you with a few extra minutes of sleep by preparing a good breakfast for you? Desmonda and I have emphysema from smoking. To my children, forgive me for leaving you so soon. This is so hard for me. I don't want you to be sad. Remember me with strength and stamina. Not like this woman I have been transformed to. I love you. Mia Hamm and Tiffany Milbrett bring you Soccer Secrets. Mia Hamm will reveal winning secrets for each age group. Beginner, intermediate, advanced, all endorsed by the WUSA. These amazing videos or DVDs are yours for only $19.95 each. Or collect all three for just $39.95 and get a one-year subscription to Sports Illustrated for Women. If you order right now, you get this limited edition poster absolutely free. Call 1-866-MIA-HAMM. That's 1-866-MIA-HAMM. No pads, no easy goals, and no time for injuries. That's why the WUSA chose HealthSouth as its official health care provider for sports medicine, diagnostics, and outpatient surgical services. To find out more about the medicine behind the game, log on to HealthSouth.com slash WUSA. You'll get the latest soccer health information and tips from the professionals that keep the players on the field. HealthSouth, the people who know. Welcome back to Atlanta. Founders Cup 2, there it is. It will be handed out to the Carolina Courage with a 3-2 win over Washington in the final. And let's send it down now to Eric Freed with the winners. Ladies and gentlemen, if you direct your attention to the stage as we honor a team that's demanded our attention all season long, the Carolina Courage. Joining us on this unstable stage, the president and the CEO of the WSA, Lynn Morgan. Thank you, Atlanta. Give yourselves a great round of applause, your awesome fans. I'd like to congratulate both teams, the Washington Freedom and the Carolina Courage, on a great season and a great game today. Thank you. Please come out next year and support your hometown team, wherever you're from. I'd like to turn it over right now to Commissioner Tony DeChico to make a very special presentation. Well, first of all, congratulations to the Washington Freedom for their awesome season. What do you think of the WUSA? There was two champions on the field, but only one champion gets to take the Founders Cup home. And in 2002, that's the Carolina Courage. Congratulations to Coach McDermott, Captain Roberts, and the entire Courage team. The trophy is yours for 2002. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Kathy Faith and Jim Herbin from Hyundai Motor America will present the award to the Founders Cup 2 Most Valuable Player. This year's MVP will win a brand new 2003 Hyundai Tiburon. Thank you. 
Hyundai is a proud sponsor of the WSA Soccer, and it's my honor today to present an MVP award for today's game, which is a brand new 2003 Hyundai Tiburon. And the award goes to Birgit Prinz of the Carolina Code. We will talk with the winners in just a moment. Right now, Beth and Anton, back up to you. Thank you very much, Eric. Uh, outstanding effort today by the Carolina Courage, Anson, and hanging on down the stretch, but uh, they got what they needed prior to Mia's entrance into the game and uh, before she could put her stamp on things. Well, first, we got to talk about Washington. They never quit. They had riding time in the second half. They're creating chance after chance by attacking uh, this defense that Carolina was dropping back into its own goal mouth, it seemed. Uh, so they deserve a lot of credit, but still, the courage uh, with Birgit Prince leading the way, as you mentioned earlier, not just offensively, but her intensity on defense was remarkable. That actually bought her one of the goals. And then the substitution of Wilson to try to close it out was a great decision by Marsha McDermott because Wilson got involved in a lot of the duels on that side of the field that Mia was playing on. Uh, so let's credit both teams here. Of course, hindsight, uh, speculation about whether or not Mia should have played the entire game. When we talked to the to the Freedom, all parties involved said, you know what, we're going to stick with what got us here, and the decision was made to bring her in at halftime, and even Mia agreed it was the right call. And, you know, uh, we were discussing this earlier. Uh, my gut feeling is maybe bring her in in the first half a bit. Uh, let her run around a bit. I think she had the energy just watching her in that second half and certainly the ambition to make something happen. But still, this strategy is what got them this far. Nothing wrong with staying with it. The Carolina Courage, holders of Founders Cup 2. With the win today in Atlanta, 3-2, the final over Washington. Stick around, we'll be talking with some of the Courage when we come back, the WUSA on PAX. Imagine a color contact lens that combines the science of vision and the art of color. It's AccuView 2 Colors brand. Now you can look your best with colors that are vivid yet natural. The secrets in the color enhancing layer. And even if you don't need vision correction, discover the incredible comfort of AccuView 2 Colors from the number one doctor prescribed brand. AccuView, advancing the science of sight. Let's do this. Frozen turkey. New kid. What do you call the only side-by-side -side that's wider on both sides? The wide-by-side. Possibly the most versatile refrigerator in the whole wide world. Allow me. The wide-by-side. Another dependable idea. You need help to your car with that? Only from Maytag. the only one that pampers you with a few extra minutes of sleep by preparing a good breakfast for you? Three, two, Carolina winning the Founders Cup to complete the second season of the WUSA. And there it is. Stacy Wilson has it, and let's check in now with Eric Free down on the field. Well, this is a little unfair to Birgit Prince, the MVP, because Danielle Fotopoulos was just trying to make her laugh. It worked. Congratulations, first of all. It's been a whirlwind since you joined this team back in June, but the emotions we just saw just kind of sum up this Carolina team. You're a very tight-knit group. Yeah, we are so happy that we won this game, and I don't know what I want to say now. It's so hard when you play 90 minutes, and then you have to give an interview in English, so... I'm so glad. <laughs> <laughs> that says a lot. With 
all the soccer you played internationally, how did this game compare to some of the matches you played in? Because it seemed like a battle, uh, like a heavyweight fight, if I could take a boxing analogy, because each team gave each other its best and one team was left standing. Yeah, it was a real battle and it was exciting until the last minute because um, we had a good... We've, 3-1 and then we got 3-2 and then we yeah we had little problems uh, in our defense with the Washington offense and so we are glad. You now own a night brand new car okay were you borrowing someone else's car before you you won this one? Um, I think because I'm going home to Germany for the next half year and I think I can't transfer it to Germany but I think I will find somebody who will drive it. <laughs> <laughs> well, she has an international driver's license, so we're all set. Birgit, congratulations, and congratulations on a terrific first season in WSA. Thank you. Let's bring the captain in here, Tiffany Roberts, right now. And Tiffany, I mean, you got out to that 3-1 lead. Uh, you are known for your defensive presence on the field, but the defense was certainly tested after Mia got that goal. We were definitely tested. Mia Hamm is an awesome player. She needs about three or four players to mark her in order to deny her. And uh, But we did it. We stayed together as a team. We fought all the way through. It was very very hot today. I know I was struggling, but my team held on and it was awesome. Was that the game plan there in the final 5-10 minutes to really give that much attention to Mia, three or four players? Because Stacey Wilson came in, you were giving her right. attention, everybody was there. It was not our plan, but because Mia Hamm was making such a big difference, I think we noticed it right away and we started flooding that area. Now, for this team, uh, everybody's talking about worst to first, and here you are at yeah. the top. What does it mean to the Carolina franchise? Because it was a down year last year, but that was forgotten after your first win at the opening day, and you've just rolled since then. This is great for our club, and I you know, really thank the club and our coaching staff that did a great job of bringing in some great players like our MVP, Barrett Prince, and some really talented rookies. Uh, uh, we just did an awesome job of uh, preparing the team this year. Go get a piece of that Founders Cup. Congratulations, Tiffany Roberts, the captain of the Carolina Courage, the WUSA champions for 2002. We'll talk with head coach Marsha McDermott in just a moment. Right now, back to you, Bethany Hanson. Well, thanks a lot, Eric. Well, uh, one of the things that Marsha did this year was to give Tiffany Roberts a little more responsibility, a, a role that TR embraced, and, and certainly she made the right move too late in the game here with the insertion of Stacy Wilson. And there is Stacy with the cup. Well, you know, absolutely right. I mean, this is a chess game at the end of, the, uh, of a match, uh, certainly when you're hanging on like that. And they were attacking the left side. The Washington Freedom with Mia Hamm on the left were attacking that side. So what did they do? They threw in Stacy Wilson to sit on the floor on that side. Her energy was a major factor. Well, let's hear now from Marcia. She's uh, standing by with Eric. Well, Marcia said uh, it hasn't sunk in yet. I think it's going to take a few weeks here, Marcia, because that was a game that we'll remember for a long time, and I'm sure for you, too, you'll remember this for a long time. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, it hasn't sunk in yet. I mean, first of all, Washington played a great game, and, you know, congratulations to them on a great season, and then uh, just a testament to the players, right? I mean, what, what character through the whole game, and they're just so fun to work with, and it hasn't really sunk in yet, to be honest with you, but I'm sure it will at some point. In the offseason, you made some tough decisions, and you really turned over a good chunk of this roster. When you see these results, it must make you feel, well, those tough decisions and, and letting some people I like go and who I respect go was worth it because it paid off your worst of first. Yeah, and they were tough decisions because all of those people were quality people, but, um, you know, we just weren't getting it done, and, and so we had to, to reconstruct the roster, so to speak. But I think, really, from the very first day of this season, what this team has had is great leadership, and they haven't looked back. They haven't wondered about that first year. They've just said, this is who we are now. And, you know, they set four goals and they hit them all, so you got to be impressed. When uh, Mia Hamm came in there, you had a plan. Venus came in and you gave her a lot of attention. Then you had to come up with plan B when we Stacey did. Wilson came in. We had to come up with plan B because Mia was tearing us up and she was doing a great job. I mean, she is, you know, arguably the best player in the world and off the bench, wow, you know, that's really tough. And, and then their whole team is an attacking presence, really. So we put Willie in as a second defensive center mid just to give cover. Her job was to make sure nobody ever defended uh, Mia alone, and Willie did a great job. She's a real winner, and you can trust her off the bench to give you just what you need. Well, congratulations. A total team effort for your squad today, Marcia. It sure was. I mean, you can't say enough about the whole team. Congratulations to Marsha McDermott, the head coach of the Carolina Courage, the Founders Cup champions here in 2002. Beth, up to you. Thanks a lot, Eric. Three to two, the final. Carolina. Getting the game winner from Birgit Prinz in the 58th minute, and then they held on to deny Washington. And we'll be back to Atlanta in just a moment. It's just the same old thing. I I need adventure, excitement. I, I'm suffocating. Okay, you can drive. 
spice things up. The Hyundai Santa Fe, V6 power, full-time four-wheel drive, and the freedom of America's best warranty plan, the Santa Fe. Don't even think about it. makes it easy to feel as smooth as a goddess. Its three-blade refills are shower safe and simple to change. They're where you need them, when you need them. So the closest shave and smoothness that lasts is within the reach of every goddess. Venus, reveal the goddess in you. And now get that lasting smoothness with new crystal clear Venus. Imagine a color contact lens that combines the science of vision and the art of color. It's AccuView 2 Colors brand. Now you can look your best with colors that are vivid yet natural. The secrets in the color enhancing layer. And even if you don't need vision correction, discover the incredible comfort of AccuView 2 Colors from the number one doctor prescribed brand. AccuView, advancing the science of sight. Welcome back to Atlanta, to Carolina with the win, and they take home Founders Cup 2 uh, with a thrilling victory over the Washington Freedom. Beth Mullins along with Anson Dorrance, and Anson, Washington really put the pressure on him, particularly with the insertion of Mia Hamm in the second half and a spectacular goal from Mia to really make things interesting. Well, they went after him, and it was great seeing Mia out there playing as well as I've ever seen her play. I mean, she was dynamic on that flank, so dynamic. Marsha made a substitution just to get Stacy Wilson on that side to make sure no one faced Mia 1v1. Well, let's take a look at Mia's goal. It's our Maytag play of the game, and it was a spectacular goal from Mia in the 64th minute, running down the left flank. Watch her turn it back inside and just let it rip. I'll tell you, just with absolutely no space for her to find that seam and bend it. And look at her excitement. You can see her. Just the adrenaline is still pumping through her body. What an amazing goal. Well, the Maytag play of the game. Maytag, the official home appliance sponsor of the WUSA. And uh, Eric Freed is now down on the field. And uh, let's check in with Eric and uh, the Washington Freedom perspective. Eric. All right, Beth, thanks very much. It almost was a perfect cap to a great rookie season for Abby Wambach. They came up just short, but we had a great reaction with you wearing the microphone after Mia scored that goal. You were hooting and hollering. The bench came up. How did that turn things around for the freedom when Mia came in the game and scored that goal? Well, when Mia Hamm steps on the field, um, she's a force to be reckoned with, I guess. And, and she stepped on the field, and I told her, you know, just go at them. Because the last time we played them, she went at them, and we scored a couple goals quick on them. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for us today, but I think um, that goal set a tone for us and I, I really thought we were going to pull through and, and score the equalizing goal right there at the end but it didn't work out for us and, and I give Carolina all the credit in the world they deserve to win this this game I think uh, they played better than us today you know I don't see I see obviously disappointment here but it looks like you guys played about as best you could out here today against Carolina well I think we made a few mistakes I think uh, defensively we, we broke down a couple times and they, and they capitalized and they're a good team, you know, that you can't really make mistakes with this team and, and that's what make, wins championships, one or two little mistakes and, uh, you know, I give them all the credit in the world, they're a great team and I hope they're having fun right now. Well, thank you for giving us some great moments this year and we look forward to many years to come from Abby Wambach. Thanks a lot. That's Abby Wambach, the Rookie of the Year in the WUSA. Beth and Anson, back up to you. Appreciate uh, Abby. Take, thank you very much, Eric. We appreciate Abby taking a moment to uh, chat with you and there is the Founders Cup. And it goes home to Cary, North Carolina, to Sass Soccer Park. And a terrific job done by the entire Carolina organization. And Anson, 
we're getting a bit spoiled here. We, we get down to the uh, the best game of the year, and your hope is that the level of play lives up to the billing of the Founders' Cup. In two years running now, it has been some of the best soccer we've seen. Well, you know, six goals in the first final, five in this one. We knew something like this could happen. The two best attacking teams are in the final, and look at this. What a great game for us to watch. How about uh, the, the turnaround of this Carolina Courage team and the wonderful job that they were able to do and, and get all the pieces to fit together and, and everybody filled their roles and, and played to perfection here in this final? Well, you know, to Marsha McDermott's credit, she made some tough decisions in the offseason. These are kids she liked and she basically rearranged her roster. That is the roster that you saw out there today. The new roster. Every decision was tough, but they were all great decisions. Yeah. Nell Fettig. Danielle Slayton, Birgit Prince, great off-season decisions by the Carolina Courage. And it's good enough for Carolina to take home the Founders' Cup as we complete the second season of the WUSA. It's been a lot of fun, the WUSA on PAX all summer long. We've had a spectacular crew working with us week in and week out, and we want to say thank you to them for all of their efforts. For Eric Freed and Anson Dorrance, I'm Beth Mowens. We'll see you at the All-Star Game in Portland on the 21st of September.